one very large, very dead stingray. Just that the uh, inlet sort of head of Mapua, low tide, and this fella has washed out. And I am assuming by this large chunk out of its body that it in fact has been one of the victims of the three orca that came into Mapurini on Sunday. Carrying up the beach. And this is number two. Dead stingray. Somebody's come along and put some flowers on it. Sort of thing my daughter would do. And look again, it's got the uh, massive big chunk just taken out. That's one big bite. And here we have number three. Dead stingray. And this one's interesting. Also someone has put some flowers on it. Been here for a while. But visibly in this one you can see the teeth marks of the orca that have possibly gone right through there. I'll lift that up. Yeah, they have. Chomp. Just taking a big bite right out of its body to its vital organs, killing it and just leaving the rest. Some other creatures to finish off. And here's number four. What size is that compared to my hand? And for every one that I find, I reckon out there in the ocean there's probably another ten at the bottom of the sea feeding the fish that I don't find. This came across this fella. Yeah, it looks like a conger eel. It's got itself stranded. It's not gonna last very long around here, are you? It's gonna survive until the tide comes back in again. I'm gonna try and take it out to deep water. Yeah. Doesn't look too flash. Lift you out and take it out to the sea. Looks to me like a conger eel, like a baby one. I know a good safe place for you mate. Just go in there. Seabirds can't get you. You just go inside that cave there. Here we go. That's it. Now you're sweet. The tide comes in. There we hunky dory. Looking around for more stingray. It's a good home for a sick conger eel. And as the tide comes in it's apparent there's actually quite a few in the sea. This one's underneath water. Again, another large stingray with visible marks of being bitten by an orca. And you can see that those teeth marks have gone right through. Wow. I think I can see another one up the beach too. These bloody plastic bags, if you find them on the beach, pick them up. Someone's bait. They pick them up and take them home because they... They kill birds, they kill turtles. This one's got sand in it. I'll take these bastards off the beach because they don't do any any good for anybody. And it's not too hard just to take them with you. And another one again. This is our number six. Anyway, look at the size of that. I mean, there's my foot. That's actually my swollen foot. There's my normal foot. <laughs> That is a huge creature. And yet another large stingray, that's uh, number seven I've come across in just 20 minutes. That would be about from tip. I'll place it out. Here's my foot, so we'll do one, two, three. It's just about, probably not quite three metres long from tip to tail, or nose to tail at least. And this is number eight. Seems like the uh, orca come along and just take a bite and then bag her off and leave them 